Over the last few decades, hundreds of human pathogens have emerged at a rate unprecedented in human history. Emerged from where? Mostly from animals, uh, the original source of nearly all major infectious diseases. Uh, tuberculosis, for example, was thought to have been acquired through the domestication of goats. Measles also jumped from goats or perhaps sheep. Smallpox seems to have been the result of camel domestication. We domesticated the pigs and got whooping cough, domesticated chickens and got typhoid fever, and domesticated ducks and got influenza. Uh, leprosy came from water buffalo, the cold virus from cattle or horses. How often did wild horses have the opportunity to sneeze into humanity's face until they were broken and bridled? Until then, the common cold was presumably only common to them. But wait, animals were domesticated thousands of years ago. Why all these new diseases now? We are changing the way animals live on a global scale. The AIDS virus is blamed on the butchering of primates in the bushmeat trade. The uh, mad cow disease was because we turned you know, cows into carnivores and cannibals. SARS and COVID-19 have been traced back to the exotic wild animal trade. But our last pandemic, swine flu in 2009, arose now from some backwater wet market in Asia, but was largely made in the USA on industrial pig operations in the United States. Thankfully, swine flu only killed about a half million people. Next time, we might not be so lucky. COVID-19 may just be a dress rehearsal for an even greater threat waiting in the wings of chickens. In 1997, a flu virus called H5N1 was discovered in chickens that would forever change our understanding of how bad pandemics could get. Uh, so far, it's remained largely a disease of poultry, not people, but of the hundreds of individuals who have become infected, more than half have died. A flu virus with a human case fatality rate exceeding 50%. What if a virus like that were to mutate to acquire easy human-to-human -human transmissibility? The last time a bird flu virus jumped directly to people and caused a pandemic, it triggered the deadliest plague in human history. The 1918 pandemic that killed 50 million people. The deadliest plague in history had a 2% death rate. Uh, what if we had a pandemic uh, infecting billions with a virus like H5N1, where death was more like Ebola, uh, a flip of a coin? But the good news is, that there's something we can do about it. Just as eliminating the exotic animal trade and live animal markets may go a long way towards preventing the next coronavirus pandemic, reforming the way we raise domestic animals for food may help forestall the next killer flu. The unprecedented emergence of H5N1 and the 10 other bird flu viruses newly infecting people around the world has been blamed on industrial poultry production. When we overcrowd tens of thousands of animals in these cramped, filthy football field-sized sheds to lie you know, beak to beak or, or snout to snout atop their own waist, it's just a breeding ground for disease. So the sheer number of animals, the overcrowding, the stress crippling their immune systems, the, uh, the ammonia from the decomposing waste burning their lungs, the lack of sunlight, lack of fresh air, put all these factors together, and we have are really the, uh, the perfect storm environment for breeding the so-called super strains of influenza. The American Public Health Association has called for a moratorium on factory farming. And maybe COVID-19 is the dry run we needed, the fire drill, to wake us up out of our complacency to reform the food system before it's too late. In this new age of emerging diseases, we now have billions of feathered and curly-tailed test tubes for viruses to incubate and mutate within billions more spins at pandemic roulette. We may be one bush meat meal away from the next HIV, one pangolin plate away from the next killer coronavirus, and one factory farm away from the next deadly flu. Along with human culpability, though, comes hope. I mean, if changes in human behavior can cause new plagues, maybe changes in human behavior may prevent them in the future.